Tonight, breakthrough medicine. It has to do with the case of a little boy born without an immune system. To survive, he lived in a sterile chamber and was known as the boy in the bubble. Fast forward about 40 years, and tonight another little boy is helping pave the way to a potential cure. KPI X5's Julia Goodrich is in San Francisco tonight with our original report. A few months after he was born, Declan took part in an experimental treatment here at UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital. Experts say the gene therapy he got is a game changer. Like most kids, Declan Ruby is not immune to the charms of the baby shark song. But unlike most kids, this two-year-old has a brand new immune system. And it sounded very, I don't know, like something out of Grey's Anatomy. I mean, something that they, it was just made up. The whole reason we came out here was to get this treatment and to see how well it worked, and we were not disappointed at all. Declan was born with a rare, life-threatening genetic disease called X-linked SCID. SCID stands for Severe Combined Immunodeficiency Disorder. The condition gave Gained worldwide attention in the 70s with David Vetter, the boy in the bubble. And these are babies that are born without an immune system. Declan inherited a bad copy of a gene responsible for a healthy immune system. That makes him susceptible to a whole variety of infections most of us take for granted. And it was terrifying to have what seemed like a very healthy baby at home and then to find out that he had this condition. The best treatment, a bone marrow transplant from a sibling who's an exact match, but Declan's an only child. And while alternate treatments, including antibody injections, can help a baby survive, there can be side effects. These antibody injections have to happen every month for indefinitely for a baby's whole life. Declan's parents decided to take a leap of faith and join a clinical trial at UCSF. I think you were pretty on board with the, the gene therapy right away. I needed a little more. Yeah, the second convincing. I heard about the study, that was definitely my priority was getting him into it. The therapy was developed at UCSF and St. Jude's Research Hospital. We're taking the patient's own cells and we're correcting them. UCSF doctors collected bone marrow from Declan when he was still an infant and shipped it to St. Jude's. At St. Jude's, scientists isolated stem cells from Declan's bone marrow. They then cultured them and used a modified virus to deliver a good copy of the gene into the cells. We've engineered it so that it is no longer infectious. The cells were then frozen and shipped back to UCSF ready to transplant. We had the patient, the baby, in the hospital, and we, when we were ready to do the gene therapy, we gave the baby two days of chemotherapy. Low-dose chemotherapy made room for the transplant. Declan then got an infusion, his own blood stem cells containing the good gene. Sat in a swing for, it was what, 20, 30 minutes? Yeah. That. 12 weeks later, his immune system was creating healthy immune cells. It was great. It's, it's worked beautifully. UCSF doctors Mort Cowan and Jennifer Puck. With gene therapy, we can give them complete treatment. David Vetter remained isolated in a sterile environment in the hospital and then at home. He died at the age of 12. This gene therapy promises a potentially safe cure with many more baby shark dances in the future. There were eight babies who got the experimental therapy. Half of them were treated here at UCSF. In San Francisco, Juliet Goodrich, KPIX5. Declan's parents tell us he's gotten both the cold and flu and has bounced back just like any other normal kid. Best wishes for him.